Hello and praise the Lord. My name is Floria, and this is the It's Floria show right here on Holy Spirit Broadcast Network. And it's always a pleasure to be here and in your presence. This week and this month and on this show, I'm going to be sharing some of uh, the songs from my heart, songs that I've written. I have a CD. It's a self-titled CD called It's Floria. And um, we want to just consider ourselves the, the music show here on Holy Spirit Broadcast Network. And so I wanted to uh, introduce with me here, I've got uh, my great friend Jonathan Nielsen, and we wanted to do an acoustic set, just a soft, easy kind of acoustic moment right here. I want to just share with you some of the songs that are on my CD and uh, kind of tell you the story behind some of them. And the very first song that we're going to sing for you, it's called So Many Blessings. And it was one of the easiest songs that I wrote as a songwriter because it basically wrote itself. Um, it was Easter and I was getting up and I was getting ready to go to resurrection service. And I woke up and I looked around the house and I just kind of realized I'm really blessed. And it's not that I didn't know I was blessed it, and it wasn't that I was taking advantage of it. It's just like, it just hit me like, I'm really blessed. I have beautiful children. I'm driving the car that I want to drive. I have the love in my life that I want. I'm living in the house that I want. And I just said, you know what? Nobody can do this but Jesus. And so I sat in my bathroom and I was putting on my makeup and I just started singing the chorus. And so I took it and I recorded it on my phone. I sent it off to a, a producer. He was a guitar producer because I wanted this song to be a, a guitar acoustic kind of song. And he sent it back and he said it was one of his favorites. And so we just wanted to share that with you today. And it's just a song about just taking stock and just remembering and, and just saying how good God has been to you. So I hope you enjoy this. I woke up this morning and I opened up my eyes. All I could see were the blessings of the Lord. So many blessings of the Lord. Then I looked at my children, how beautiful they are. All I could see were the blessings of the Lord. So many blessings of the Lord. And Jesus, I love what you do. No one can do what you do. No one can bless me like you do. That's why I always worship you. Jesus, I love what you do. No one can do what you do. No one can bless me like you do. That's why I'll always worship you. For so many blessings. Then I walked to my car. And I turned on the keys. All I could feel were the blessings of the Lord. So many blessings of the Lord. Then I looked at my baby, the way he's smiling at me. All I could feel were the blessings of the Lord. So many blessings of the Lord. Jesus, I love what you do. No one can do what you do. No one can bless me like you do. That's why I always worship you. Jesus, I love what you do. No one can do what you do. No one can bless me like you do. That's why I always worship you. And there is no nobody, no nobody. No, no, nobody, no, nobody. No, there's no nobody, no, nobody. No, no, nobody, no, nobody. No, there's no nobody, no, nobody. No, no, nobody, no, nobody. No, no, nobody, no, nobody. No, no, no. 
Just take a minute to worship him. Ooh, when I look at my children, I see his blessing. I look at my house, I see nothing but his blessing. When I'm riding in my car, I see his blessing. I look at my family. And I see his blessing, and there is no nobody, no nobody, no, no nobody, no nobody, no, there's no nobody, no nobody, no, no nobody, no nobody, no, there's no nobody, no nobody, no, no nobody, no nobody. No, no, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, with so many blessings. Jesus, you give so many blessings. Nobody like you. So many blessings. Oh. You shower so many blessings. That's why I love you for so many blessings. That was one of the easiest songs that I wrote. And it was just a love song to Jesus just saying thank you. And if it ever seemed like I took advantage of what you've done for me, I just want you to know, Lord, that surrounding me are so many blessings and I didn't want to take for granted all that God has given me and all that God had done for me and sometimes it's easy to do we get in our lives we're working we're busy and we just get caught up in the things of life but it's just very important sometimes to just stop and just take inventory and take stock and say wow I am really blessed Maybe everything isn't perfect, but I am truly blessed. That song was called So Many Blessings. You can find it at uh, my website, itsfloria.com. You can purchase it there and you can purchase the whole CD. I want to share with you another song that I wrote. One of, my, one of the most fun songs on my CD. I had a girl that I went to medical transcription school with and um, she and I would party. And I mean party, like for real party. And uh, we live here in Phoenix, and there was a little uh, club called Choice of Colors out on 24th Street. And we used to go out there and party, and then we'd leave and we'd go to the after hours. And we would go in there and hang out and drink and just do the whole thing, right? And then after we graduated, I lost contact with her, and I didn't see her for many years. And then during that time, the Lord had saved me and he changed me. And he began to put me around people that could help me grow and could stabilize me and strengthen me, you know, because I came out of that party atmosphere. So I ran into her and she was like, wow, I was like, how are you doing? And we got to talking and sharing and I was telling her about the Lord and everything he'd done for me. And she was just like, wow. And I realized that she was still going the way that she was going, but I had changed and God had taken me down another road. And I wanted her to know, I said, even though God has picked me up and changed me, he's still working on me. Don't think that I'm perfect and I got everything down. He's still working on me. And after I, that encounter with her, I went home and I wrote this song and it's called Not Necessarily. I hope you enjoy it. Ran into an old friend from 2003. She could not believe the woman I turned out to be. See, we used to party 
till a quarter to three. Down on the boulevard, take a right, then cross over the bridge. And I know she wondered what really happened to me. What kind of craziness could change this scenery? But I'm not necessarily what you think I should be. But I'm trying hard to be the best that I can be. See the people surrounding me, they bring out the best in me. So when you think of me, remember he's still changing me. He's still changing me. And then she asked me, what really happened to you? What could have made this change that I see in you? And then I told her all about you. How you picked me up and you brought me through. And what you see before you is not all I can be. Cause he's still working on me and he's changing me. So I'm not necessarily what you think I should be. But I'm trying hard to be the best that I can be. See the people surrounding me, they bring out the best in me. So when you think of me, remember he's still changing me. He's still changing me. You see, I'm not necessarily everything he wants me to be. I used to bump too short, Dr. Dre a little TLC. I used to sip a little vodka, I drink a little Grand Yarnier. I'd roll up in the parking lot, smoke some weed and dance the night away. See, I didn't see no problems, cause I was just having some fun. I went to church every Sunday, and I got my Mary Mary on. I read my little scriptures, I said my little prayers at night. But deep in my heart, I knew I wasn't living right. You see, it took a real change to make me who I am today. And though I'm not perfect, I'm not necessarily everything that I used to be. I done got a little tight, but I'm not necessarily, not necessarily everything that I'm going to be. May have to forgive me, because I'm not necessarily, not necessarily everything that I used to be. I'm going to make it one day, but I'm not necessarily, not necessarily everything that I used to be. I think I'm going to be rich one day, but I'm not necessarily, no, not necessarily everything that I used to be. He's still working on me, and I'm not necessarily, not necessarily everything that I used to be. And isn't that our testimony? We're not what we used to be, but we're not everything that we're going to be because God is still working with us. He's changing us. And it's important that you have strong people around you, strong Christian people that can help you to stay in the walk and to not fall back. Another song that I wrote was a song that was the hardest one for me to write because it caused me to be more vulnerable and I didn't want to be vulnerable. We all like to kind of like cover up and put our mask on. We don't want to show or let anybody know that we could have ever done anything wrong or really made any mistakes, you know, because we're trying to have this perfect wall and show that we're perfect. But really we don't have to be perfect because Jesus was perfect for us. 
we just have to believe on him and trust in the Holy Spirit. But I wrote this song because I felt like so many times we are, we're in mistakes. We've made some mistakes and we're living in them. We haven't come out of them. We're still in them. And, and I just wanted people to know that you can make a mistake, but you are not that mistake. You can make a mistake, but it's not you. And to learn how to separate yourself from that mistake and to be able to go on. Have you ever found yourself staring down guilt and shame? You're looking in the mirror and wondering how to fix your name. All you do is worry, live at every day in stress, never feeling worthy, and wondering if you'll ever be blessed. You're living topsy turvy, can't even close your eyes and rest. That's not the life that he has for you. You might have made a mistake, but you are not a mistake. He created you to walk in his glory. You might have made a mistake, but you are not the mistake. His grace erased your past. He rewrote your story. Now you're walking down a long road. You're looking in the rearview mirror, regretting what you did wrong, and praying that your future's clearer. You did some things you were afraid of, and now they're trailing behind you. You've got debt so high that you'll never be able to pay it. And you may find yourself wondering how you gonna come through this mess you've made. But I came to tell you that Jesus loves you. And no matter what you did, he forgives you. You might have made a mistake, but you were not a mistake. Because he created you to walk in his glory. You might have made a mistake, but you were not the mistake. His grace erased your past. He rewrote your story. your pain. Yeah, turn your head back. You gotta learn how to laugh. Just turn your head back and just forget about the pain. Cause his grace erased your past. He rewrote your story. You might have made a mistake, but you are not the mistake. He created you to walk in his glory. You might have made a mistake, but you were not a mistake. His grace erased your past. He rewrote your story. Yeah. He rewrote your story all over now he rewrote your story everybody I want to just introduce you to Jonathan Nielsen my 
sidekick and co-horse here, and um, Jonathan gives guitar lessons. And I just wanted if he would just take a couple of minutes and tell everybody where they can reach him to get guitar lessons to play like this. Go ahead, Jonathan. So to take guitar lessons with me, all you have to do is go to lessonswithjonathan.com uh, and click Zoom Lessons and uh, we'll uh, connect and uh, it'll be a great time. Lessons with Jonathan.com, Jonathan click Zoom and voila. I hope you've enjoyed um, the songs today. Once again, you can pick up the CD. It's called It's Floria and um, it's at my website, it's floria.com. And it was just a beautiful time we had uh, doing this. CD. I, the CD is called Keep Believing. And I called it Keep Believing because so many times God may have given you a promise and he's called you to do something and you're just wondering, well, God, where is it? It's been a long time. I've been waiting for it. Where is it? When is it going to happen? And sometimes you can get discouraged and you get frustrated. And sometimes like Sarah, you go out and you try to make it happen. And so I, I wrote this song, it was one of the first songs on the album, it was called Keep Believing," And I just was trying to encourage myself um, that God was gonna do it, that God was faithful to his word, that I just needed to just keep believing and not run out of gas before the promise uh, was brought to fruition. And I just feel like there are some people out there too that you need to be encouraged, you know, um, that God has made you promises and he's given you a vision and he's shown you that he's going to do some things for you. And sometimes that vision is just big. Sometimes the vision is huge and you say, I don't have all that. I don't have all that talent. I don't have all that money. Where am I going to get this from? But if God called it and he said it for you, he's going to provide it. And if the vision is too big for you, then you know it's God. And that's the time when you really need to encourage yourself to keep believing. So I just want to sing the chorus and a little verse of this and kind of encourage you as we go out from the show to no matter what you do to keep believing. The song says, don't worry, just keep believing. Don't worry. Just keep believing, don't worry, God will surely do it. When I look around, I see empty faces, too many open spaces, and I'm wondering what I feel inside. Is this inspiration? I need an explanation for the things I feel. Sometimes it's pain. Sometimes frustration, sometimes it's anger without an explanation. Too many people, they try to hide all of the feelings they keep inside. But don't worry, just keep believing. Don't worry, God will surely do it. Don't worry, just keep believing. Don't worry, God will surely do it. Don't worry, my friend, just keep believing. Don't worry, God will surely do it. Don't worry, just keep believing. Don't worry, God will surely do it. Don't worry. Just keep believing, don't worry, God will surely do it, don't worry, just keep believing, don't worry, God will surely do it. I just
just want to thank you again for tuning into the show. Please share it with a friend, another musician, and encourage someone. Thank you for tuning in with us. We love you. And uh, we're going to have Jonathan back again, and we're going to be sharing some more uh, acoustic music. And um, we're just going to be, I want to encourage all the songwriters out there, all the producers, and all of those that are writing kingdom music to keep using your gifts for the Lord. Keep sharing your gifts with the people of God in the house of God. And I just want you to tune in because we're just going to be the music corner here on Holy Spirit Broadcast Network. And we just want to encourage you that no matter what you do, God is going to see you through. Please go out and support the album. It is at itsfloria.com. We love you. And we thank you for tuning in. And we're going to go right back out. Come on, sing it with me. It's an easy chorus. Don't worry. Just keep believing. Don't worry. God will surely do it. Don't worry. Just keep believing. Don't worry. God will surely do it. Don't worry. You just keep believing. Don't worry. God will surely do it. Don't worry. Oh, just keep believing. Don't worry. God will surely do it. Don't worry. Just keep believing. Don't worry. God will surely do it. Don't worry. Just keep believing. Don't worry. God will surely do it. Don't worry. Just keep believing. Don't worry. God will surely do it.